bam right there how's it going guys token vaping sorry for that i'm just a little excited because as you all know i naturally am a um uh, i would say a custard dessert style flavor vapor by choice that are usually the flavors that i always drift towards i have a secret addiction though and it's one that it just I really, really just have always enjoyed the flavor. Um, it just brings back a lot of memories as a kid. And it's just those typical, you know, Saturday morning watching cartoons, um, eating as much sugar and crusted cereal as possible to just to wire yourself and, you know, drive people crazy because you're just overly hyper. Um, so whenever I get a chance to try this flavor in a vape, it's always interesting. I always, I always look forward to trying it. Um, and then the more on point that it is, it just brings back some of those memories and just makes you feel good. The company that the flavor is from, and I know you've all heard of them, is the Ethos Vapor line. Now, they have an original three flavor line that most of you have probably already tried. Um, if you own a shop or work in a shop, you probably have, uh, do sell it. Um, they do have a website, it's ethosvapors.com. You can definitely check out the flavor profiles for them on, on there. They also came out with this new line, which is the Crispy Treats. And it's basically, the base flavor of it is a marshmallow treat, and then they have the four um, main flavors there they have the original the strawberry the green apple the blueberry i have done uh, reviews on two of those flavors the green apple and the original so definitely check those out if you have not one of the newer flavors that they came out with and this is why i got so excited is their fruity and if you can't tell what that's based on i feel sorry for your childhood um, but this is their newest uh, flavor that came out. It's a marshmallow treat with the encrusted fruity cereal right there that we all know and love and probably most of us ate as kids. I know I probably ate a lot more than I should have and I probably make up for most of their sales when I was a child. But this is the box that it comes in. It is a 60 ml bottle. Um, it does say Ethos Vapors on the side. It says Crispy Treats on the other side. And then it has all the obligation for the warning and ingredient labeling and everything else on the back it does have their facebook instagram and twitter logos there you can check them out on there they are on ethosvapors.com as well now if you do want to purchase it one of the main sites that you can go to is one of my favorite sites i order a lot of stuff from them when i'm able to um, it is elementvape.com they do sell it on there along with the other flavors as well great site speedy delivery great customer service elementvape.com definitely check them out um this is the bottle that it comes in and it does have basically the the really 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 tantalizing picture there of what it is makes you just want to eat the bottle um, it does say fruity there is the three milligram it is available in a zero three and a six and there is the warning and ingredient labeling there it does come with the safety cap ring on it like this this is a first vape first review and this is a little different than the other bottles that you have seen whereas they come in the larger bottle and then they provide a nozzle tip this one already has the nozzle tip attached to it so it's just basically a straight squeeze bottle which makes it a lot more convenient you don't have to worry about looking for the nozzle if you put the cap on when you're done with it but it is a going on a fresh wick as it is a first vape as you can see right there cotton of choice as always is the Texas Tough Cotton. I just like the way it works. It has a almost non-existent break-in time. I'm, I've only come across a couple of flavors that uh, has taken me a little bit of a vape to get the full flavor out of. Most of the time it comes straight out. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this flavor. And I will put the link for Texas Tough Cotton in the comment box. It's right next to that red subscribe button. If you have a chance to click that, that would be greatly appreciated. This is a 75-25 mix, which makes me really happy, which means the cloud density is going to be really good, but the flavor should pop really nicely as well. It is a good mid-range 70-30, 75-25 are really good uh, medium range for a lot of flavors. You still get your dense cloud production, but the flavor is also well, well stocked in that mixture as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open, and you should hear the safety cap pop right there. And then you just screw this off and then it comes with and I, I'm a big fan of these nozzle tips I've been seeing these pop on more bottles lately they're really thin they're really easy to work with especially when you're dripping you can literally direct the juice exactly where you want it to drip but it's it's also beneficial because most tanks nowadays the fill ports on them vary in sizes as far as the way that they fit for the tank this nozzle tip pretty much will accommodate most tanks on the market today now, if you're using some of the older school ones that have the really small fill ports, this might propose a little bit of a problem. But if you have a spare unicorn bottle, you can just transfer it over to that. But the fact that they do make the thinner nozzle tip like this definitely does help. So I'm going to go ahead and juice this up. 
And as always with most vape juices, especially if you drip, the juice does come out a bit fast when you're squeezing it out of a dripper like this. So definitely keep a watchful eye on it that you don't flood your, your setup right off the bat. A lot of people will squeeze and not realize it, and then they have this big overloaded juice that pops out and then it gets all over everything. Oh yeah. Smell alone, even if you blindfolded somebody and had them smell that, you can instantly tell what the main flavor on that's supposed to be. Fantastic. Go ahead and do a quick pre-burn. Go ahead and do this rejuice. And we will get to vaping. Now, regardless of how this pops, the main flavor is obviously going to be the fruity cereal. I'm interested, I'm interested to see if they put any if the creaminess of the marshmallow base comes out at all in this to see if this smooths out or not. But as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts, and this is the new fruity line fr fruity flavor from Ethos Crispy Treat line. As you can see, the clouds are really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick redrip. One, because I want to. And two, mainly I do it because I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything out of the flavor when I give a description so that I'm not misinforming anybody about what the flavor comes off as. Now, don't get me wrong, everybody has their own sensitivity to flavors, everybody has their own particular and specific vaping style. So at 75 watts, this may taste different to somebody who vapes at 85. But I'm just, I try to make sure that I get as much out of the flavor as I can so that when I describe what it comes off as to me it gives you a little bit better of an idea of what it is that you're dealing with yep i will say this be, even though this is the newer flavor to join the four flavor line that originally started this the fruity from ethos crispy treat is my favorite of the five um not only because I'm a fan of the flavor, but because of the, the basic two flavors that are in this. The fruity cereal with the marshmallow base, on point, that's basically exactly what you taste. The bulk of the flavor is the fruity pebble cereal. Um, very fruity, not too sugary, uh, so it definitely is not something that you're going to vape out on fast. It is something you can enjoy um, as a daily vape. The marshmallow aspect of it does come in towards the end of the vape and on the exhale to help smooth it out so it doesn't become too strong of a sugar flavor um, in that sense. So it definitely works out in both aspects for that flavor. That and it's just a fun tasty flavor to be, uh, just as it is. So definitely check it out. That's Fruity, which is the new flavor from the Ethos Crispy Treat line. As you see here, you can find out all the flavor profiles and a bit about the company on ethosvapers.com. If you do want to purchase it, elementvape.com does sell that along with a bunch of other websites that sell vaping juices and hardware and things like that as well. So there is no shortage of being able to find where to purchase this uh, this juice line. Um, if your local shop carries it, that's a lot easier as well. Always shop local if possible. Um, and if your shop doesn't carry it, definitely suggest it to them. Ethos Vapors is a rock solid line as it is. Their flavors are definitely worth carrying. So check out ethosvapors.com. And if you are interested, they do have a street team, which just is them reaching out to the social media of vapors and the vaping community um, for assistance in helping promote and talk about their products, such as doing reviews and posts and things like that. So Ethos Vapors, thank you for the opportunity. It's always a great pleasure to help review your juice line. Definitely check them out. You can also email them directly, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and their main website. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I myself can do to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I do this. So reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any particular video that you'd like to see. I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, no matter what, always remember, morning, noon, night, does not matter when. Always truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong.